Is it normal to not want to wait for your baby shower to get things and just want to buy everything on your register yourself? Hello, Soda here and I am officially 25 weeks pregnant! It's been three weeks since my last pregnancy update so I am going to go over, let's see, weeks 22, 23, and 24. Honestly, not much to report. Um, I will say that becoming 24 weeks was a big deal. I think because knowing that at this point, if there is some sort of medical emergency, or I do go into preterm labor, which Hopefully that doesn't happen, but there are some girls in my group that that has been happening to. Um, once the baby is 24 weeks, at least in the U.S., that's when they at least attempt to save the baby. So that was very comforting to me um, that my baby is far enough along that it is a possibility that she can survive. I would say the only new symptom from my last update is that I've been having a, a really hard time doing this breathing thing that apparently is important. Um, while I was on my baby moon at 23 weeks, I was, I was really, really having a hard time breathing. Like at one point we almost had to go to the ER because I was like my husband kept making me laugh and every time I started laughing I'm like <gasps> like oh it was so bad but I think a big part of that I mean for one thing at this point um your your baby is <laughs> taking up a lot of room so you have less room in your diaphragm but at the same time like my it's been harder and harder to keep my posture and I think it's extra hard when you're traveling and so I was slouched a lot and I think being slouched and not having enough room in your diaphragm was really really hard um, and it was also pretty hard with not getting as good sleep because I'm not in my normal area um, that I finally got sleeping almost somewhat down I feel like there is literally no comfortable sleeping position for me at this point. Like lately I've been sleeping in the baby room in my recliner just like sitting up because like laying down is it's just really hard on my side on my back I, I don't know I have been um taking these little copaiba, I think that's how it's pronounced, these little tablets, these essential oil tablets that I feel like have been helping the last few days, but I mean the the pain is just, my doctors have suggested the belly bands, but I just hate having pressure on my stomach, it just um, makes me more nauseated, which I mean my nausea has gone down a lot, so that's good, but man, just, uh, I, I have a really hard time with pressure on my stomachs ever since being pregnant. Before pregnancy, I loved having pressure on my midriff, but now I just, uh. And my, um, my pelvic physical therapist tried the tape thing, and I do feel like that helped, but it was so itchy. And then after a few days, I took it off, and I still... I still have a rash. It's my stomach is being very sensitive to any adhesives, so I'm still trying to figure out like if there's a band that will work for me that won't put too much pressure on my stomach or maybe it'll be worth having the nausea because man my my lower back is just killing me. Um 
I have been doing a lot of stretches that my pelvic physical therapist has been suggesting and we actually invested into getting me a personal trainer at the gym across the street like three gym memberships now I used to have four so that's good but yeah it has been worth the money so far I've only done two sessions but my personal trainer is 22 weeks pregnant I think and so she knows a lot about pregnancy workouts and everything but yeah a lot of the like kegel what it's called exercises um, if anyone is curious about my um, my stretches and my workout routine I've been doing um, I might make a video on that because it's been really helpful for me with pregnancy and with my um, post-traumatic arthritis in my knees, I have hypermobility issues, I have fibromyalgia, I have all these different issues, dyspraxia, and it makes working out pretty difficult. So I'm really glad that I was able to finally have this workout plan that has been working really well for me along with the stretches that I got from my pelvic physical therapist. I was really hoping we would find some good Black Friday deals, um, but it just hasn't really been much, especially with them starting the deals on Thanksgiving now and kind of anti going shopping on Thanksgiving. I think because I hated having to work on Thanksgiving when I worked retail, and so I just, ugh, I just can't do it. And then yesterday, which was Black Friday, it was super stormy and so I'm like, I ain't, I ain't going out there. But I just, yeah, I couldn't really find much. Today we ran a bunch of errands, uh, got a bunch of stuff for the nursery. I'm so excited. We're like maybe 70% done. So I will definitely do a nursery tour once we're done with that. I think it's turning out pretty cute. But most of the stuff we got wasn't really on sale. We did go to Motherhood Maternity and everything was 50% off, which is awesome. I got a bunch of leggings, like thick, warm maternity leggings. And so yeah, it was like three of them for $25 or something awesome like that. They're so comfy. Then we went to Bed Bath & Beyond and Lowe's and Ross and then we ordered our bassinet I got the same one that my sister recently got um, but a slightly newer version so I'm excited for that to come it wasn't on sale at all but it's pretty cute and had decent reviews so this little girl has been very very active. I mentioned in my gender reveal video that her name is Ember and again she is due March 11th, my sister M's birthday. So I really hope she comes right on her due date. My husband's side of the family doesn't really do like baby shower stuff. Um, in their culture they do more of like a postpartum type thing so maybe in April I think we're planning on having a family get together there's our heater again at least it's not as crazy loud as it was before but I think that means it's time for me to finish up oh but let's do my my little bump reveal before I go because it has grown so much I've gained so much weight and I am actually really happy about it I'm recording well finally look really pregnant this is from the front and from the side I don't even have to like lean back or anything it's just there um so I don't know if you could see my my little rashes here they're almost gone but I'm really happy 